hold your hand out. Oh, like, see, oh. see, see <laughs> my hand. Is, yeah. All right, like how, how big his hand is. This dude, mid, midway in the middle, had to switch over to Ford. His, his hand it wasn't made to use chopsticks. Oh my oh, god! Look how big. Hey, some people just hey. Look. Eventually, you're gonna learn though, Julian. You're gonna learn how to use chopsticks. Dude, no, that's not bad. What's going on, guys? It's your boy J A with another Culture Eats video. Today, I'm taking y'all to Korea. I'm here with my man Mike and his Yo. wife. Hi. So here we at. What restaurant is this, guys? It's called Koyang Jeep, Korean restaurant. <laughs> All right, what does Koyang mean? Koyang means hometown. Hometown. Yeah. So what kind of writing is that? Is that what type of calligraphy is that? That is Korean. The Korean, Korean has their own characters. Mm -hmm. it's so hunger, right? Hunger. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So and then obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so okay. we're about to go in, Yay. and then we'll show you all around, and then we talk more about the food, the culture, and all the beautiful aspects of <laughs> Korea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, my man, Mike. So tell me, what am I drinking right here? What am I drinking? This is called boricha, mm -hmm. which is basically the like traditional like water, uh, barley tea, mm -hmm. that you can kind of drink with meals or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. You can drink it hot or cold. Usually people drink it hot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's let's take a trip to Korea. Okay. So tell me about the people. Oh gosh, <laughs> the people are the. Oh, she's from Korea, she kind of lived there for a while. I've only been there two times, so I would say that just like cut it really short. Um, Korea is um, very deeply rooted in Confucianism. We are full of, um, they have a big respect for ancestors, um, you know, paying respect to ancestors and stuff like that. Um, it's also one of the countries that's developed most rapidly, like really, really fast. It used to be a third world country. And then I think in like late 90s, early 2000s, just like, it just got really, really um, modernized. Just back to what she was talking about, as far as respecting their ancestors, is they're really big on respecting anybody that's older than you. I'm talking about if you are a month older, same age, but a month older, it's like you gotta respect them as your older, you know, person. So it's like you gotta say things a certain way, you gotta like pour them the, the alcohol or soju or something because you're the younger one, you know? It's always like you kind of always respect the, the elder. All right, guys, so we just got the appetizer, and they're going to help me explain what this beautiful dish is. God, <laughs> ah, Lord. <laughs> All right. So this is the seafood scallion pancake. So it's a Korean-style pancake. So there's different uh, ingredients that you can choose if you want to get kimchi pancake or the seafood, the oyster. This is probably one of my favorites just because it's got a little bit more meat and not too spicy you know that sort of thing it's good solid appetizer so inside here Man. it is very crispy on the outside like in the and then inside is pretty it's really soft it has scallions it has a lot of squid i'm sure there's like um, shrimp in there as Man. well and, and it then, smells good oh right? yeah it's really good and then you put I like the this crispiness of the texture soy sauce and like scallion dip and you put it in your thing and you just dip it and you eat it so it's like a dipping pizza. Dipping pizza. Listen guys, this is just the appetizer. So <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> well y'all don't play. <laughs> yeah, Koreans really love play. their food. They love to eat. We can eat all day. It's uh you know, eating and drinking is like just one of the main things we do, you know? Yeah. We can eat and we can drink. Nice, nice. All right, guys, so we're about to eat our appetizer, and then hopefully by that time, our main courses will arrive. Mm -hmm. And God, look at this. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. She's mixing my food. <laughs> like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
for y'all. Look at this spread. <laughs> Is there any more left? Later, later, Tijot. Later, oh. That'll be fun. Guys, what's it called again? Seafood pancakes. Seafood pancakes. I call this heaven. What do you want to put there? All right, guys, so D is going to explain <laughs> some of the foods that we got here. You see, we got a lot of food, so. Yeah, big spread. Woo! <laughs> okay. Go ahead, D, do your let's, thing. <laughs> let's start with the side dishes. Okay, so we this is kimchi, the most traditional um, Korean dish. Uh, fermented napa cabbage. It sounds nasty, but it's one of my favorites. This is um, anchovies with jalapenos. Um, it's just kind of mixed with um, probably like soy sauce and a little bit of um, what's that word? Uh, sesame, sesame, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Uh, I think this is spinach. This is eggplant. So it's kind of made the same way. This is fish cakes. Um, spicy, fish spicy fish cakes. Spicy fish cakes. Mm -hmm. This is basically radish and um, kelp or seaweed in like kind of a vinegary sauce. Up here is short rib soup, soup. Um, and just lots of daikon and, or radish in here and some eggs in there. This is chapchae, this is uh, potato starch um, yeah. glass noodles and then it's just mixed up with mushrooms and beef, beef and carrots and all kinds of vegetables and just put it together. Um, Koreans love using soy sauce and um, sesame seed oil so you'll feel a lot of that. So yeah, that's about it. And then your bibimbap. It's and basically a hot stone, hot stone bowl. Hot. So it stays hot the whole time you eat it, right? It's like still cooking. Mm -hmm, basically. And what kind of sauce are we going to add to it? Um, that's called gochujang. Uh, it's basically hot pepper paste, Korean hot pepper paste. So you can just put it a little bit if you think it's spicy, or put it a lot if you want it at really spicy. I'll uh, I'll say really the spiciness level is the same as like sriracha. It's not that it's spicy. It's sweeter. I would it's say. a little sweeter. sweeter. Um, a funny thing about bimbap is it became popular after Michael Jackson ate it oh. in Korea, and every it blew up because he said it was like the best thing he ate. He ate, and then after that, airline Korean airlines started um, serving bimbap for their um, what are their meals <laughs> when you go from Korea in and out of Korea. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm just... Overwhelmed? <laughs> Overwhelmed is, is an oh, yeah. understatement. All right, guys, so we're about to enjoy this wonderful meal. All right, guys, what y'all think? What do we... Very good. Pretty traditional, yeah. honestly. What was your favorite dish? Yeah. What was it called again? Pibim pop. Oh, good job. Pibim pop. Pop means rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. Pop means rice. Oh yeah. So yeah, definitely the pibim pop was my favorite. The glass noodles with vegetables mm -hmm. and, and the beef. And the beef was good. This was like that was <laughs> magical. Like, what was it called again? The uh, hammer paton. So ton means like pancake. Like seafood pancake. Seafood pancake. Yep. That was amazing. That was amazing. But yeah, guys, I definitely enjoyed you know the food here. Korean food is amazing. Like, <laughs> amazing. So, <laughs> dessert. Dessert time. Yes. What was dessert? It's like a pretty Korean traditional drink. Ooh. It's a rice drink. Uh, so in the bottom, rice it's punch. rice and it's oh, rice like punch. sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I'm usually out of it. Damn. Damn. Okay. Do you like chicken? It's kind of like porchata. A little bit, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that, right? Yeah, it's like a So, is it a funny story? Yeah. About Korea? Or, like, what are we, what are we talking like, about? Like, what was your fun? You, like, growing up as a kid, you know, Korean parents, like, what was the funniest moment you can oh, think of? Man. 
man, my mom, check it, check it. my mom used to definitely, uh, you know, embarrass me sometimes, you know, <laughs> dropping me off at school. I, I definitely want to be one of those kids that's like, Mom, Margaret, you don't have to drop me off, like, let me out at the block drop before. Me a block. <laughs> like, uh, you know, she'd be talking to me out the window in Korean, and all the kids are like, what? you know, in Alabama, you know, I'm like one of the only Asians and Koreans definitely in a small town of Madison, so. You know, I definitely got like picked on a little bit and stuff like that, but you know, um, you know, I laugh about it, think about it now, but yeah, my mom definitely used to embarrass me and uh, dress me in weird stuff. It's like the popular music genre in Korea. Oh man, yeah. K pop. K pop. Yeah, K pop is like crossing over to the US like crazy. I don't know any K pop songs right now. I don't though. either. I know more Americans that know more K pop than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's becoming really big. Yeah, they it's were crazy. like on like music. Like, they were on Ellen. They were on um, Ellen. They were on, um... They were on the... Uh, not the Grammys. But it was... Yeah, oh, musical. the MTV musical. Yeah, music stuff like that. Awards. They're, like, blowing up, for sure. Yeah. So, um, it seems like a lot of people love... Started people with Gangnam Style, you know. And then I. Now it's, like, pretty common to hear. Yeah. Every now and then I'll hear some on the radio. Song on the radio. Yeah. In Houston, man. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. So. My trip to, to Korea has come to a <laughs> conclusion. See, we tore up this food. Man, I appreciate my friend Mike, my homie, yeah. my boy, and his wife Dee for helping me out with this project. Um, I will catch y'all in the next episode of Cultural Eats next week. Stay tuned. So, sign off, guys. Say say something, Korea. Oh. You guys say, I don't know. How okay. To say it. Um. Aesthetics. Sorry, that's a very Korean of me. I don't know how to say certain English words. Julian aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. Julian aesthetics. Like.